Hey, hey, all you garage gurus, how's it going? Here's Quasar here. Welcome back to my garage. Yeah, I'm doing a couple of side hustle jobs here for a few people. Uh, let's see here. This one, he claims that he can't, uh, the, the car doesn't charge. So let me grab my, grab my wrench here. I have done a few things around the garage. I've made some changes, as you can tell. Um, we'll get to those in a minute. Um, just trying to change a few things up here. So I think... Let's see, let's, let's take the battery cables off because usually that's typically what it is. I don't see, battery looks brand new, okay. Uh, let's get right down in here. Take this off the starter. Uh, I should have one back here off the... ground and then it's cable so let's see nope that looks brand new so it's not that hmm okay so what else could it be could be I mean outside of the alternator it could be the alternator so let's go ahead and take Fan off here. Uh, can I get that off without any problems? There's another one down here somewhere. Where is it? Right there. That off. What's the belt look like? Uh, it's brand new. It looks like it might be the belt. So let's go ahead. Yeah, it looks like the belt. So let's go ahead and take the belt off. Buy a belt. Right. All right. That's a Jesse. Look for a V8 engine. And we're looking for a belt. Go. Yeah, the belt looks belt does look like it's a little hosed up. So uh, I can't pick it up with the stupid thing in my hand. So let's take this off. And I just take it off. There we go. I didn't need that at all. All right. Put that back on. go French go uh, my fan or my belt I should say jeez. Some things you can pick up with the wrench in your hand, some other things you can't. Get that fixed. Wrench. There we go. So yeah, how's everybody doing? I hope this video is finding you all happy and healthy. This is just, like I said, just a quick job. It makes, you know, it helps make ends meet. Plus anyone that's in the neighborhood can definitely, you know, come by and I can definitely help them out with their car and everybody will be happy, happy, happy. I got to do something around for the neighborhood, right? Um, you know, it's weird kind of how that happened. So down here by the starter, it's in uh, ground and alternator. There we go. Good to go. All right, pick that up, pick that up, pick that up. Okay, doesn't want to go in my inventory. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Diagnostic job info, uh, complete, 35 bucks. <laughs> I only got 35 bucks for that job. I, I feel like, I feel like I kind of got robbed on that job. 
Oh my gosh. All right, let's get rid of this crap. Ah, uh, anyway. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been doing odd jobs. I was out um, doing uh, doing a few things, right? So I was out always going out to the junkyard. I always like going out to the junkyard because there's always neat stuff out there. And for some reason, I have this addiction of buying crap that I can't get caught up on, right? So I've got all kinds of junk cars. Well, my intentional my intentions going out to junk was to find a new interior for my charger. Remember, we brought this back from the dyno, so I needed a new seat. You know, a door a rear panel back here, a rear seat, a door panel for the passenger side, and I couldn't find. I can't find any of the pieces. Um, but I did find in the process like this Mustang and this convertible. Um, so I brought them over and then I did find some interior pieces for the truck, some white pieces for the truck, the interior of the truck. So I'm like, okay, uh, I'll do a Mustang. So I brought the Mustang in and I brought the convertible in and then I said, well, I'm, I've got too much stuff going on out here. I need to change some stuff up. So the dark teal El Camino and the orange wolf is in the, in the shed back there. And I took all the junk cars and put them over here. Um, uh, yeah, and the blue Impala is still sitting over there. Um, I've done a few junk cars, did some money, you know, flipped them. But for these particular ones, I brought them in here and thought, hey, these would be cool projects. This one I thought was going to be red, right? It's not quite red. So if you look at this, it's an A6182 F. And if you look at the, the color scheme here, it's almost like a bright, dark pink, maybe. Um, so I'm not sure if I really want to keep it or not. The convertible, I had an idea when I saw this color. This is kind of like a yellowish color. So this is an EBC uh, 586, 586. So if you look at that on a color scale, it's almost like a nice bright yellow, um, a lighter of the bright yellow. So I thought it would be a cool idea to do this. And, and just to... Give you an idea of what the color looks like. Um, it's almost like a, a dark, uh, I don't know, like a, a, a dark butter, I guess. So I'll clean this off a little bit to give you an idea of what it is, what it looks like. So it's kind of like a, a nice casual looking color. And I thought, oh, this would be cool for a, 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 uh, like a cruising car, right? So I'm going to lower it and put the other set of 16s on it and I think that's going to be pretty cool. Um, so that's that. So I'm not sure about the Mustang yet, but just because of the uh, the paint color. And I still haven't found any interior parts for the Charger. Um, yeah, none yet. So back to the truck. So our truck here, if you've been following along with me, we've, we've pulled this out of the junkyard as well. Put a whole new rear axle underneath this. And I need to get the suspension done on the front because... I need to take the cab off and take, I need to take the cab off because of all this rust underneath here. The cab needs a whole new flooring put in. And I can't really take this off because then it'll just, it'll just fall down. Right. So I can't do that yet. So my project today is, Oh yeah, I forgot the gas tank. So my project today is going to be, um, the truck, uh, try to get the suspension done on the, tr uh, the front suspension down on the truck and get the cab off. That's going to be, uh, Probably my main thing I want to do. Um, so let's see if we can this go in. Okay. That's that. Any in there? I don't think so. So I think it's only two for that. I need to take a look at some of these bolts because I'm sure when I did the, I want to make sure all these are tight. I think they are. Oh, see, I missed a couple. Hoo-hoo, good thing I looked, huh? I was just thinking, I said, I may need to check these, double check these bad boys out. Make sure I got them all tight, which I think I do at this point. All right. So now it's just a matter of getting front end, the front suspension done. Let's take a look here. Uh, Jesse, we're going to have to go with the B200. Uh, I am going to go with the V8 on it. Uh, 
go for suspension. So anything front suspension wise, I'm going to grab. Uh, drive shaft, front, drive shaft. Medium, we'll keep the drive shafts. Uh, front axle, boom. Carrier hub, front left, front right, we'll grab those. Uh, front hub, two of those. Uh, leaf spring front, leaf spring rear. We have lifted the, the rear, so uh, two shock absorbers. Steering box, I need that. Um, steering link, I'm going to need that. Tie rod, need that. Um, two of these leaf springs. I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, could be. I think that might be it. So let's go ahead and gather up all these pieces. I'm not going to have enough room in my storage area. Also, what I wanted to check, take a look at today is possibly putting spacers in the wheels. We'll, we'll take a look at that as well. Um, so I think, I think I'm going to put some spacers in it just to get the wheels a little wider. That's one leaf spring. I wish I could paint these leaf springs, but the only thing I could do with them is actually chrome them. And that's not, that's not something I really want to do. Let's dump off all of my pieces here. Uh, first up, front axle. Uh, you know, I think these carrier hubs go in next. Nope. Okay, I think I need, what is it I need in here? Uh, hubs, I need those. That's a front hub, I got two of those. Oh, wait a minute, there was a left and a right for the carrier hub, so maybe I got the wrong one on the wrong one. Right? Right. So let's see if it doesn't fit there. It does fit there. There we go. Uh, go. Go. I'm going to do this a little at a time because this will be the first time I've built the front end on these things. First time for everything, right? Bob. Go ahead. Yep. Okay. I feel like there should be something in there, though. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, let me take a look at this real quick. Um. Something is a, is is wrong here. Front axle. That's the brakes. Not coming out. this down to see how this goes together this front axle okay oh what is that what is that half axle <laughs> okay half axle so I half axled this thing together. Get it? I half axled it. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Let's see if it fits in there without anything. Probably not. I probably have to take everything back apart. Um, yeah. Go figure. So I've got to take this out. 
axle in, right? Axle gates in. I don't think there's anything to tighten up on that. There we go. There we go. That looks that looks better. That looks a whole lot better. Holy cow. All right. Off, drop down, no big deal. Drop that off. Yeah, you know, I thought something looked looked off. I wasn't sure though. That was on a roll though. I was like, hey, I'm doing this pretty good. Uh, there we go, got that. Hub. Should be able to put that on. Then steering link. Steering link, not so much. We have to put this on. This is up here somewhere. There we go. I feel like it was more than one bolt for that. Maybe not. Steering link. Uh, steering link. There we go. Oof, okay. Shock absorbers. I get at that. There we go. I gotta get brakes for this thing too. Oh my gosh. Uh, not too bad. We've done like a speed run of getting this done. There we go. So that front end should be done. So now we'll get um we're we gonna get here. We're gonna get Brakes. Does it come with a set of brakes? Front disc. One, two. Front right. Front left. Brake shoes. Front brake shoes. Okay. So that should do it. It's on. Not wrong tool first. But yeah, I've been doing a lot of other things. So this has been this has been quite entertaining for myself. Uh, trying to find the parts. I didn't want to go out to the. I didn't want to have to go out all the way across the island to get uh, the interior for the truck. And I kept coming across some of the pieces. So I was like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and, and uh, pick them up and. Go ahead and do the truck up. Well, I don't know. I, I just, one thing always leads to another. I'm always buying junk cars and I can never get them repaired, right? Oh, I just needed, oh man, I just needed to. Okay, so let's put those back in the box. No. So let's. Just kind of put those bad boys right here. Oof. Messed up my sign. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. So much for that. Side that done. I won't even worry about brake lines as of yet, because I don't even know if what, because I'm going to take the cab off, and the cab's got the, the brake cylinder on it. So I'm not going to worry about brake lines right now. I am going to worry about getting the wheels out of the back, though. Holy crap, I forgot about those. Okay. 
Okay, can I grab? Okay, good. And you. Oh, ooh, nice. Yeah, I love these. I love these things. I love these things. These look really good. You on. This side. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to put air in these things because I just had them mounted. I just didn't, I didn't have anything else done to them. Where is, this is right there. So this truck's going to be easily, easily rollable after I get it down, after I take it down. So that's going to be, oh, it's down here. I don't think it has an emergency brake. That could be, that's what I need. I need an emergency brake. Does this have an emergency brake cable in it? Well, no, because I'm going to be ending up taking this whole cab off anyway. So yeah, that's not even going to be a thing. So let's go ahead and lower her down. Okay. Not bad looking. Not bad looking at all. Take a look at it from the back. Um, I feel like the tires should be out a little bit farther. You know what I mean? I kind of like it, but I kind of think it needs to go out. Just a little bit farther. So let me go over to the... Oh, crap. What time is it? 16, 16, 22. Uh, hopefully I have enough time. Go over, wait a minute. Do they have spacers in here? I think I threw them out. I do. Not enough that I want. So not the ones I want. I use those spacers for... I want to say the charger. The Fast and Furious charger, I believe, I use them on. Um... Took them off. I don't remember why. Maybe I was going to use them on the blue Impala that I took apart. I, I, I don't know. I did eventually sell those things. Hey, yep. going in town today? Bring me cigarettes if you do. I'm running out. Oh, sure. I'll go and bring you some smokes. Okay, 50. 100. 150. 40. 30. So let's go. Let's go. 50 millimeter. That looks like that might be enough. Just, I just wanted a slight, a slight crab look to it. Not a whole big crab look to it, just slight. Let's see how this is going to look. We'll take it uh, one piece at a time, one side at a time, and we'll see what happens here. All right, wrench, please. Thank you. Uh, we'll take one of the back. I uh, don't know why they did that, but okay. Okay, I'm going to put spacer on there. Okay. So, you can see just by the drum how much far... How, how much farther it's sticking out. So I think that'll work. I think that'll work. Uh, 50's a good, good number. I'll take that off. There we go. Ah. Yeah, I think that's going to look really good after I get done with it. So yeah, I don't know what happened with the wheels back there, but the front ones are responding well. One more spacer. Go. 
All right. So, yeah, I think that looks a lot better. It's a lot better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, baby. All right, let's go ahead and sit you down on the ground. All right. Um, how do I take the dash out? I need a screwdriver. Clean up my shop here a little bit. Nothing like having a clean shop, ladies and gentlemen. It's garbage. Yeah, I, I'm probably probably didn't. Probably could have gotten a little bit more money from the guy down by the docks. I'm not really worried about it right now. Go. Oh, I got a hub left in there. That didn't work. So this look like it's new, but I didn't care. Um, okay. I'm gonna take the hood off. So I know it have, I've kind of like run out of room for stuff. So what I'm going to have to do is probably, you know, I'll end up doing, I think what I'm going to end up doing is placing all my truck parts out here. Now, I have some room to work around in here. Uh, oh, see what I mean? It's rolling already. Fender off. I'm not sure if the grill was in good shape or not, but grill off. See, this whole piece here needs to come out. I can take the engine out. I can work on it a little bit easier. With this. Um, Too bad it just it just rolls so easily. It really does. Uh, that piece. How does that come out? Two bolts for you. I thought that I thought that radiator support. Oh my gosh! I thought the radiator support was going to come out with a with a uh, grinder. Nice. Okay, that works for me. Okay. Oh, I'm in the. I am in the table. Hang on. Let me get unstuck here. Tab. So what the heck is going on here? Where'd my wrench go? There it is. Underneath there. Okay. And that takes that piece off. All right. Um, Engine wipers. So I gotta strip all this stuff down off here, otherwise it's all gonna come off. And I'm not gonna know what to do with any of it. Uh Tcha. wiper motor. Take everything out in here, might as well. Metal. 
holes. Brake cylinder. What else I got here? Oh, I gotta get. Uh, how can I get that? Maybe from the other side? Parking brake. I think I can keep the parking brake in over the dash needs to come out. Uh, and there. That it? Yep, yeah, that's it. That gets trashed. That's out of here. Um, and I'm trying to put, when I put this back together, it's going to be my, kind of like my work truck. So I want to make sure, I don't know, I, well, I, I say I want it to be my work truck. I'm not sure if I want it to be my work truck yet or not. Oh, it's that one on that side. Ah. Where is it? I thought it was in there somewhere. There we go. All right, so that's all done. Doors off just for the giggles. Get those out of the way. You see how bad the cab floor is. And this is all I'm going to do is just fix that cab floor. Okay. One cab. The doors all taken care of. All right. Now, get underneath here. And to do the cab, one there, one there, one there, one there. Okay, with that, here we go. What a Herculean task, right? <laughs> okay, what happened here? Hanging up. Oh, oh, oh. Go. And there we go with the cab. <laughs> All right, we got the cab off. Look at that. First cab off uh, frame, frame type engine oh, or frame type car altogether. This is actually kind of cool because you can do just anything you want to do with this. I think it's just neat the way this is done. All right, uh, with that being said, let's see what else we got here. Where is my wrench? Oh, I left it over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the grinder over here. I'll take the flooring out of this. Uh, let me go ahead and take the motor out of here because this is, this is not gonna be, let's connect that. I disconnected all that. Get rid of this motor out of here because I don't need it. All right. Motor's going to end up being scrapped. Line scrapped. Transmission. Get rid of that. So yeah, we're gonna get rid of a lot of stuff out of here. So what I have built over here, look at this beauty. Yeah, this is what's gonna go in. That's that's what's gonna go in my my Ford. 
<laughs> my B200. That's what's going to go in it. So yeah, I can't wait to put that in it. I still wish I could paint those those leaf springs a different color. But that's okay. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's about all the time I have right now. We've kind of stripped the uh, B200 apart. Um, we have definitely um, now with the cab back there, it's not going to go very far. Ah, that's a good idea. Good idea I had, Hurst. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to put the, the brand new uh, put the brand new flooring in this sucker. Um, the wheels and tires are all on it. The front end is completely redone. All brand new parts. So I think we're in pretty good shape as far as this is concerned. All right. Um, I'm going to clean up around here, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. This is Hurst Quasar saying goodnight, and uh, I'm out.